Nice scarf. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Ken. This is Buff Pro. Today we're checking out the top 10 times ghosts were actually caught on camera. Ooh, it's a Watch Mojo video. Yeah. And we know ghosts. Yes. Do we? Been... Yep. We catch them on Phasmophobia. You can check it out on the gaming channel, Toasty Games. It's on the side. Bam. On the main channel. Yeah. Top. Well, before we get started, do you believe in ghosts? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Do they believe in you? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I am the ghost man, you know what I'm saying? Oh, like, you're the hey, ghost man. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not like the, the ghost hope, you know? Oh, yeah. well, we got a professional ghost whisperer here today. He'll be able to tell us whether or not these are legit or not. So prepare yourselves. Make it a little spooky. Ooh. William Hope was one of the first individuals to specialize in spirit photography. Some of Hope's spirit photos were proven to be fake, and many believed that he was a fraud in general. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Dang. We're looking at some dude, he, apparently he was faking ghosts in his pictures. Yeah, uh, and started a cult. He even served as the founder and leader of the Crew Circle Spiritualist Group. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a fraud. Oh my God. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty creepy though. That was a fake one though, I think. Was it? I don't know. Well, let's see. We figure out which one the real one is. Yeah, they're about to say, you know, all this was fake, and then he got haunted. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a selfie. <laughs> <It's ghost laughs> In a photo of Charles Tweedale and his wife, the spirit of her late father can allegedly be seen in the background. Well, that's her late father. Look, I see two ghosts here. <laughs> All right, there, there's this dude right here, but then there's like a bigger one behind him because there's an eyeball right here. Yeah, and an eyeball right I know, here. right? <laughs> yeah, something's watching over Obi Wan right here. Yeah. That is definitely Obi Wan oh Kenobi. <laughs> Arguably the most famous photo Hope took was of Mrs. Hortense Leverson as her departed husband loomed over her. That was the whole dude. What are you? <laughs> You mean that dude wasn't in the picture? What do you mean? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. That first one, I want to say that, you know, they just found some old photos and were like, man, these developed really bad. Ghost. <laughs> That's a ghost. I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to take a picture of like me and you and be like, yeah. and Ken wasn't even there. <gasps> ghost. He's haunting me. <laughs> no. Okay. The next one, number nine, is called Terrifying Terry. <laughs> this woman's got... Ghost dog? Ghost dog. I think the only ghost she's got is that big freaking ink spot on the side of her face. Hunter on daily. Ain't no way that's a mole. If it is, her doctor needs to check it out. It's hers. The terrier's death took a noticeable toll on the big dog. If you look closely at the photo, you can spot what looks like the terrier levitating over the... <laughs> <laughs> My man ate him! That's what happened to his friend. He ate his friend. He's, getting, <laughs> he's extracting him right now. <laughs> <Pooping> the <dog laughs> out. He's like, my bad, bro. Come on now. Uh. I kind of got this whole story too. Like the, the little puppy's death had a noticeable toll on this 80 year old dog. <laughs> Who doesn't even look like he notices. <laughs> yeah. like the whole dog is coming out of his bum. <laughs> Oh, man. You can spot what looks like the terrier levitating over the big dog. Oh, yeah, yeah. The dog is levitating <laughs> over the big dog. Okay. He's levitating. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's one of Daisy Buchanan's most memorable quotes in F. Scott Fitzgerald magnum opus, The Great Gatsby, who was briefly involved with Fitzgerald during their youth. <laughs> Can we get the TLDR? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's the ghost? Yeah, okay. So we, we, probably, we probably can't show you any of that we watched so far because they got a bunch of movie clips and everything in here, but there's been like two minutes of them just like giving us like, they're talking about the great Gatsby. They're talking about some movie. They're talking about all this stuff. Where's the, uh, I, I get, they're just trying to get this, they're, they're trying to stretch it out to 10 minutes. They almost made it. <laughs> <laughs> but could the green light still be burning at the end of the dock? This photo taken by Christy Ranieri in 2018 seems to suggest so. <laughs> All right, Ghost Whisperer, what do you see? Mm. I see on top of that person's forehead. <laughs> it's aiming straight up. <laughs> do you see? <laughs> You're talking about this 
That's a penis. <laughs> this man's forehead get someone uh, that's the true hunting <laughs> wow <Ugh>. okay <laughs> Ranieri was outside King's old summer home in Lake Forest Illinois when she captured this eerie image it just looks like I mean yeah it looks like some dude going Ooh, what's over there? <laughs> and what is all, all this up here, though? Like, look at all these other faces. Yeah. <laughs> There's another so, face. There's a nose right there. They just need to clean their windows. <laughs> yes, this is gross. <laughs> <Can you? laughs> it is very gross. I feel like this is on the same lines of, like, how... The, the and ever since everyone's got cameras on their phones, we haven't like seen any UFOs anymore. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Since you know, photography's come so far, we haven't seen more ghosts and pictures. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's true. <laughs> yeah, we got all this HD. I'm trying to see some HD ghosts. Yeah, what are the HD what ghosts? Are HD ones at? Number seven, the Brown Lady of Raynham Hall. The only thing more chilling than this photo is its backstory. Okay, well, first off, that's a terrible name if you're a ghost. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Shame on whoever named that ghost. Right? <laughs> yeah, and there's no way the ghost had curves like that. That's all I'm saying. I didn't see that in the ghost at all. <laughs> all right, let's, let's hear this chilling backstory here. Yeah. Townsend learned that Dorothy had an affair with nobleman Thomas Wharton prior to their marriage. Townsend locked Dorothy up at Raynham Hall, where she remained until her passing in 1726. Dang. He said, oh, you cheated on me? Fake your death, lock you in the dungeon. Oh, that's wow. hardcore. That's whoo. <laughs> Holy crap. The photo supposedly shows Dorothy's ghost wandering down the stairs of Raynham Hall. She was apparently wearing a brown dress, hence the nickname the Brown Lady. Oh, oh. She had a. I mean, does it. <laughs> Looks like someone was developing this picture, just like put their finger on it. Yeah. <laughs> and how did they. <sighs> I don't see a brown dress. Yeah, it makes me wonder. How, I don't even see a lady. How do they know what she was wearing if she's been locked away for like forever and she died, you know? <laughs> how do you know who that is? <laughs> that looks like a bunch of dust came up off the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, we took a picture of the glare <laughs> coming in. Uh. Specter of Newbie Church. In 1963, Reverend Kenneth F. Lord snapped this photo inside the Newbie Hall Church of Christ the Consoler. Dang! Is that Cthulhu? <laughs> Get the, oh, Cthulhu's in here. <laughs> <laughs> Melted wax face man. Cthulhu! Or maybe even the hair's hanging over. I don't know. It's a, oh, what do they call them from D&D? &D? The, uh, the, the mind flayers. Yeah. yeah! Oh, man. Yeah, look at that. He's got a nice Ooh. little tentacle beard. How's this dude hanging out in church? Ain't that where they're like not supposed to be allowed yeah, to hang that's out? That's what I thought, you know? <laughs> Dude just in here don't care. Like, come on, bro. Church is off limits. Can't be there. This must be the Holy Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a spirit. Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Wearing what appears to be a hooded robe and a white shroud, the ghostly figure came to be known as the newbie monk, as well as the specter of newbie church. It's the ghost. That's the ghost! This is the ghost? That's him! Bam! Matt, this is like the dude's been walking slowly at us while this lady's been talking about whatever. <laughs> I thought he was about to like run at us and give us a jump scare. Yeah, <laughs> like, like throw his hood back, like get in our face. Yeah, you better not. Don't do it. <laughs> it's also been theorized that the figure is a product of double exposure, which is when multiple images are placed over each other to create a single image. Uh, they, they finally pointed out that, you know, some people think this is just like, you know, Old pictures. <laughs> Away from talking to me. We got the next one here. I don't know if, if this dude's the haunted dude or this dude in the back here is haunting us or yeah. if this is like, you know, some random dog's head that's haunting <laughs> us. Or... The price of that car is haunting him still. <laughs> in 1959, Mabel Chinnery took a photo of her husband in the driver's seat of their car. Chinnery's mother, Ellen Hamill, can supposedly be seen in the back seat. She was just in the back seat. What do you mean? <laughs> There's just a dude in the back seat, right? Just a person back there. What do we? <laughs> they took a picture of the dude and was like, yo, that's a ghost. <laughs> 40 years later. <laughs> I don't remember that person being back there when I took the picture because yeah. I'm, I'm old and have dementia. <laughs> Come on. How do you know? 
At first glance, this photo of a Royal Air Force squadron might not seem like anything out of the ordinary. Ah, there's a, this is like a Where's Waldo? Where's the ghost at? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's probably this hand right here. That ain't his hand. That's somebody else's hand. Oh, dang. I was thinking that's the tiny person ghost up there at the top. Ghost hand. Yeah, just standing there. Oh, wait, is there a, is there a ghost person at the top? Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, there's the tiny two, girl. There's ghost. two of them. The tiny women ghosts. Oh, no. <laughs> Polly Pocket goes. Oh. <laughs> Before the photo was taken in 1919, Jackson tragically died in an airplane propeller accident. Those who knew Freddie couldn't help but notice his resemblance to the ghostly face in the photo. Oh, man. Dude died in a... Oh, dude got caught in the propeller? Oh. Mm. Oh, man. That's bad. Yeah, that ain't no good. Yeah, he's out there snitching on somebody. Like, hey! This dude right here in front of me? The dude I'm haunting right now yeah. is his fault. <laughs> he pushed me. <laughs> oh, no. In 1891, the second Viscount Cumbermere was laid to rest. If this photo is any indication, however, Lord Cumbermere might have been absent from his own funeral. What? Again, he's sitting in the chair, I guess? I mean, if that's supposed to be a ghost in this picture, you know, the only other thing I'd point out is how awful the rest of this picture is. Yeah, exactly. Like, what the heck is even this the over here? The ghost is literally the most in-focus thing on this whole picture. <laughs> the rest of that is awful. Like, oh my God. There's somebody in this chair we can't tell. We don't know. There's an angelic harp over there. <laughs> it's called calling him to the afterlife. <laughs> Apparently, I don't know. We know what this thing is like right here in front of <laughs> That's his staff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Took a camera at the Abbey Library and took an hour-long exposure. When the photo was developed, an apparition resembling Lord Cumbermere was found sitting in his favorite chair. That's a lot of speculation. All right. This is a four-hour exposure, they said. Apparently, somebody in this big house came and sat down for a second. Yeah, for four hours. <laughs> yeah, well, not for long enough because they're only partly there. Two hours. They probably sat there and were like... Oh, wait. I'm late for that funeral. I got to get out of here. Oh, dang. My man's just died, but this chair is comfy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, nobody knows if this camera recorded me. The Amityville Ghost. Ronald DeFeo Jr. was infamously responsible for the deaths of six family members in 1974. Oh, man. Yeah, this movie. I, I, That's a crazy movie. Didn't the, the writer of the Amityville Horror come out and say that the book was fake? And they only put based on a true story to get to sell more books. Did I make that up? Let me know in the comments. Huh. I haven't heard that. I mean, it's not like if you put based on a true story is like what part of it's true. Yeah. <laughs> a family lived in this house. Got it. Nice. The, end. <laughs> the DeFeo house was purchased by the Lutz family who left after 28 days due to alleged paranormal activity. I mean, if if I bought a house that had like a whole family murder in it, I probably wouldn't stay very long either, you know? Yeah, I wouldn't. Man. Like, oh yeah, there's just the, you know, the pool of blood from Jimmy on the floor there. Yeah. Just cover that up with a carpet. It's fine, you know? Yeah. <laughs> You'll sleep just fine at night. We'll call it paranormal activity and not like, you know, just... Not like, just gross. Yeah, and if you call it paranoid activity. Oh my God. <laughs> this place is for sure haunted. <laughs> Investigating the house a few oh. weeks after the Lutz family departed, the Warrens walked away with a photo of a bread. Okay. All right. Somebody, somebody peeking. Time to go. <laughs> Time to go. <laughs> Take that picture. Get out. Uh, she's got a massive flat top, though. <laughs> <laughs> this whole thing. <laughs> That's the daughter of Charlie's Flame. This is, this is this is the picture that's on the wall of that game we play on uh, Phasmophobia. It's on the the, the board. Oh, it yeah, is. It's, it's zoomed into that. Yeah, you're that's right. What it is. There were apparently no children in the house, leading some to believe that this was the ghost of nine-year-old John Matthew DeFeo, Ronald's brother. Oh. Either way, it is a creepy picture. Yeah. Before we unveil our most ghostly number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Oh, whoa! <laughs> honorable mentions? That's hey, number hey, one! Hey, what do you mean? What the heck is that? Get that out of there! Oh my god, I'm gonna have nightmares about that one. Jesus! <gasps> Bruh. 
Imagine this is like in a video game, like this person. This this would be like the head leaning. That's forward. his neck. Yeah, just, just like wobbling like, back and forth. Like, la, 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 la. oh <laughs> no, man! Ghost on got the tube. Did you see that? Wait, does it? I was like, come on. <laughs> Mess with me. Dang. I don't want nothing to do with this ghost. Oh, man. Not only is he the creepiest, he's the hardest. <laughs> ghost on the tulip staircase. Oh, no. Oh, my God. How is this honorable mention? Yeah. This, these, these are easily better than... Maybe these were just like disproved, like they're fake, obviously. Uh, I don't know. But <laughs> this dude's climbing the, uh, he's on the outside of the staircase. Like the stairs are here, but he's like hopped over the edge. He's like, Wah. I can't yeah. climb up at you or something. You can kind of see his face too. He's making that like. <laughs> he's like, I'm a ghost. I got two left hands. <laughs> I got a foot hand. Both of my hands are left hands. <laughs> Jason Griffith's grandfather, two months after he passed. The hammerhead shark. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> How do you see a hammerhead shark? What head? do you mean? Look at that. <laughs> Wait, is it like the... There's the hammerhead. Okay, here's the little neck and that's the head or something? Uh, the whole thing, the rest of it's the shark. <laughs> oh, you're the ghost whisperer. Uh, I mean, you're, you're, you're the professional here. I mean, from a distance... It's a dude with big eyes. I, I see that. But like. <laughs> his, his grand is like. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, Abraham Lincoln. Before there was William Hope, there was William H. Mumler. Widely considered. Boy, that's the biggest stretch I've even <laughs> seen. That is a. Is that supposed to be? Okay, like. This is his beard. This yeah. is his ear. This is his little mouth, his yeah. nose, and his just sad looking eyes. He's just like. <laughs> just looking down like, dang, Ugh, I wish I wouldn't have got like shot. This. I didn't even get to finish that <laughs> that play I was watching. What a good play. It was a real cliffhanger of an ending. <laughs> okay, so this is, the, this is the picture here. My only, my only issue with this picture is if this was supposed to be just her, a personal you know, photo, then why is it framed like this to right. give this whole ghost some room to stand in? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's Abraham Lincoln, sure. <laughs> <sighs> that don't even make my top 10. <laughs> yeah. Out of their own top 10. I know, right? Like, this list is just backwards. Start from, start from this and go the other way. Yeah. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln, who was, of course, assassinated in 1865. It's been said that this photo was taken in 1869, and Mumler did 1869, nice. 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 Yeah. This, this, this lady wrote a book about this and is just dragging this everywhere, showing everybody like it's proof of a ghost. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln's the only one I know that's cocky enough to tell time by how many times he's gotten laid. Four <laughs> You know, five lays ago. <laughs> God. That was a good one. It took me a minute to put that together. Like, Four score? Oh. Yeah, seven years ago, he was, a, he was the man. Yeah. Back in the day, four score was something else. Yeah. As for the photo's legitimacy, maybe it's fake. But only Honest Abe himself would know for sure. I, we know for sure as well. <laughs> yeah. We also know for sure. <laughs> that junk ain't real. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Like I said, like, you know, it, we got the good HD cameras. They ain't no HD ghosts. That's it's true. like, look at this 1800s picture here with all these ghosts in it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, they just stopped being, they just stopped hanging around. Yeah, they don't like that new technology. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. They're like, oh, they saw Fortnite and was like, I'm out. HD, boo. <laughs> it, it makes me look fat. I don't want to be. Like... <laughs> Literally, none of these are convincing at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still waiting for 10 times ghosts were actually caught on camera. <laughs> 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 uh. 
Oh, here you go. Levitating over the big dog. More like coming out of the big dog's butt. <laughs> I came to this as a skeptic. Now I really don't believe in ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> Ever notice how ghosts don't appear here in HD pictures? Oh, that's what I'm saying. These comments are on it. These are some intellects in here. Some intellectuals. Oh, man. Well, anyway, uh, let us know if you've ever had any uh, any ghost activities. And I just noticed this over here, like the creepiest things called on security cameras. This this thing right here is like the creepiest picture we got so far. Oh, my like, gosh. Like, oh, good Lord. That's not even watch Mojo. That's something else. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for watching. Let us know what you think about this in the comments. If today's your birthday, happy birthday. Stay toasty, my friends. And I love you. And it is true. We do our own stunts. <laughs>